In this video we're going to look at the basic feature of the RTMS Relay Test Management software which is free to download from the MEGA website. This is the communication page. To use the simulation mode without connecting it to the test kit, click here. It's now searching for the device. Click on the simulate device option. Now the software is in simulation mode. Here are the list of features available. This left icon is for communication which is used to connect the unit. The second icon is for settings. If you click on this, many options appear, most of which are self-explanatory. Clicking on an option allows you to see the different types of connection available. 3 voltage, 2 currents, 3 voltages, 1 current. The number of voltage and current channels you need depends on the unit model you're using. You can select that here. For example, select the SMRT46, which has 4 voltage and 3 current channels. To select the battery voltage, click the settings tab. You can select any of the standard battery voltages or you can manually enter the value that you want here. You can also update the firmware, choose the frequency you want and see the version you're using as well as other options. Once you've selected the battery voltage, the voltage appears here. By pressing this button, the unit will be able to inject that voltage into the battery input terminals on the relay under test. This is a standard library, which we'll explain later in the distance module. This is the enhanced option, which has the list of test modules available for automated testing, which will be explained separately. Coming back to the main screen, this is where we inject the current and voltage. The colour coding matches that on the unit, where yellow is used for current and red for voltage. Based on the unit model, it shows four voltage channels and three current channels. Each cell is independent from one another, which means that any value can be entered into any cell. This allows the magnitude, the phase angle and the frequency to be independently changed. For example, I can enter DC up to 1000 Hz frequency, or we can keep it at 50 or 60 Hz that we use for standard testing. Similarly, the voltage can also be altered from 0 to 300 volts for balancing in all three phases. You can set the full voltage channel to 0 or up to 150 volts AC. Select the channels you want to inject and click on this icon to start the injection. The channels that are injecting are highlighted in green. When you want it to stop, click on the same icon again. Even online, you can select or deselect the channels and start and stop the injection. We also have these two arrows that correspond to the arrows on the computer keypad. Clicking the arrow mark gives you options for increasing or decreasing values of the channel. For example, select 0.1, then select the channel and the mode depending on if you want to use this value for amplitude, phase, frequency or battery testing. And if you select the tick mark here, you'll be able to see the highlight. The channel selected is highlighted here. Press the up and down arrow key on the keyboard and you can see the up arrow increases the value and the down arrow decreases it. Similarly, if we choose channel 2 and select either 1 degree or 10 degrees, you can easily see what's happening. You can see the vector that's going to be rotated by pressing the up arrow. By pressing and holding this key, you get a 360 degree rotation, which is useful for directional functionality tests. These tests can be performed without using complicated inbuilt modules and you can repeat this test for this voltage channel using this arrow key. Click the calculator button and different modes will appear. There are overcurrent, voltage, frequency, impedance, symmetrical, power swing and fault locator modes available. To go into detail about each mode would be time consuming. These modes will be covered in a separate video. Here is the list of modules available. This is the Fault and Pre-Fault tab. Click on Pre-Fault and enter the values you want. Then click on Fault and do the same. Both are independent screens. The Pre-Fault will be injected during the set durations, followed by the Fault. The set durations and the other settings can be entered here. To use the Fault and Pre-Fault, press the Play icon. The input and output can be configured using this button. 
The outputs can then be configured using this button. You can configure it from NO to NC and NC to NO. Whether you want the debounce time or the sound for detection, all the settings can be enabled here for each and every binary input of the test kit. If you want to close the contact, select the option here. If it's closed, it gets physically closed in the test kit as well. You can get a definition of all the buttons and options by clicking the question mark, which brings up the help menu.